James of Yard Act, welcome to Glastonbury. Thanks for having us, PRS and Liam and M Music Magazine. Um, do you do anything different to prepare for a show like Glastonbury? No. No. Every show is equally important. You've got to go for that. Yeah. And so obviously you've recently released your debut album, The Overload, charting at number two. How have things been for you as a band since then? Uh, I mean, it's been fairly hectic. Like, it's getting busier and busier. Uh, some quite surreal offers coming in, which are really uh, fun. They're part of what make the, the rise exciting, so we make the most of them. Getting to see new places, um, spend time and meet new people is the best part of it. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, but it's, yeah, it, I've, you know, you think the album comes out and that's the end of it, but that's kind of the start of it. So yeah, we, we're on the, on the up currently, which is interesting, yeah. Do you think your songwriting process has changed at all since before you wrote the first album? Um, I mean, we, we're more of a band now than we were with the first album, so the songwriting process will definitely be more collaborative uh, between the four of us, and we're, we're interested in pushing what we're in through further. I think, I think once you realise you have a, a fan base that trust, trust you enough, you're, you're, you're more willing to take more risks and that's quite exciting. Um, yeah, we certainly won't be uh, sticking to the formula. So obviously we're here at Glastonbury. Um, who are you most excited to see this weekend? Um, well, saw Little Sims last night and that was wicked. Um, I'm gonna go and watch, uh, gonna catch the end of Paul McCartney later. There's a bit of a clash with him. We clash with him a little bit, which is slightly annoying, but we'll get, we'll still get to see a good hour and a half of it. Um, warm doucher. Um, I'm gonna go see Big Thief after this. Yeah, it's, it's a great lineup. I'd like to see Confidence Man if I can as well. I ain't seen him yet. Hoping they pop up in one of the secret tunnels. Is this your first Glastonbury or have you been here before? First Glastonbury, yeah, as a punter and, uh, and playing, yeah. So uh, any, any memorable moments stood out so far? I mean, it's just massive, isn't it? I didn't really... I've been to many a festival, obviously. I'm a music lover. Uh, I love festivals. I love, I love the camping party nature of it all. But, um, yeah, nothing prepared me for this, really. It's a completely different beast. And I didn't believe people when they told me. They all told me it was like this crazy behemoth that was its own entity and I was like yeah whatever it can't be that big and as soon as we walked around last night I was like yeah it's like a yeah it's like a cliche but it is like a sm a town yeah it's mad um, so you've obviously just played the PRS stage and you previously went to South by Southwest with PRS is that right um, how does it feel being back here with us at Glastonbury I mean PRS have been great for us they've uh, Funded us, have supported us, have offered advice. Um, so, yeah, we're incredibly grateful for that, and we're we're more than happy to return the favour um, to PRS for all they've done for us. Do you have any golden rules for surviving the industry for um, emerging talent? Um, yeah, just take it slow. Know your worth. Don't rush anything. Work with a team you trust, you know, particularly get a manager that you that you trust. And it's all a risk. It is a risk. There's a lot of... Everything happens very fast and you're expected to make choices very fast and build a team very fast and uh, capitalise on the momentum you're having very fast and um, play all these shows and, and it can all blow out of proportion very fast. I've said the word fast quite a lot there, but... Um, Go with your gut on people, but yeah, know your worth and go with your gut, yeah. Thank you for being here with us. You're welcome, cheers Liam. <laughs>